Good evening, everyone. Before I start, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been involved in making this event happen. Mrs. Purvis, um, Mr. Gluck, and Mr. Bannister, who have worked tirelessly this week. Um, I'd also like to thank the kitchen staff, who have cooked our delicious meals here tonight. And last but not least, I'd like to thank you, the prefects, who have sacrificed their time in this such a stress, stressful week to um, make all the decorations happen. Can I please have a huge round of applause for them? So, does anyone know who J.P. Sears is? He is a self-proclaimed spiritualist who likes to offer very meaningful quotes about life, right? Now, in one of his videos, he starts talking about his um, past relationship, and to put it nicely, he says he has mild disdain and moderate loathing towards his former partners. However, he goes on to say, and I quote, I don't even like to call them my exes. I like to call them my teachers. And what's brilliant about that is, it means that although he strongly dislikes his past experiences, he appreciates and is learning from them. But this isn't a speech telling you to learn from your past, because you already knew that. But this is a speech telling you why you have to be grateful for what happened, so that it can shape your future for the better. As Steve Jobs, the man himself put it, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect your future. What that means is every choice, every decision that you've ever made in your life has led you to where you are now. So think back. Think back to even before you came to Concord. Everything that has happened has led you to be in this exact moment, to be exactly who you are right now. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret of mine. Back at Camford School, my old school, I was trapped in this cycle of wanting to be one of the cool kids. So I did a lot of things that I wasn't supposed to do. And <laughs> because of those decisions, I strayed off path. And when I started to move away from these people, they began to disregard me. And that's the reason that I started looking for new schools. And that's why I'm here. And believe me, I couldn't understand why that had to happen to me. I couldn't connect the dots. But now, I can be more grateful that I did. So let's connect the dots from the start of our time at Concord. Do you remember your first day here? That moment that you stepped out of your vehicle to the smell of fresh air, fresh mown grass, and cow poo. <laughs> That felt like yesterday. Do you remember the butterflies in your stomach? The sinking pit of nervousness in your body? To meet new people from different cultures all over the world. Yes, that was terrifying. But yet, here you are now. You overcame that fear and you made it. It takes courage to go somewhere new. And you might have hated it at the time, but you can't deny that it has made you that much more daring, that much braver. And that, that bravery will serve you well everywhere. And one of the places that it serves best is through those long, lengthy, lasting Mondays, where after school, there wasn't even Panini Tuesday on Monday. <laughs> there was something much better than that. And I think you all know what it is. PSHE. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But all jokes aside, I thought it was very helpful. Now, after watching that road advice video, I never walk back to my house without a torch on me. And... <laughs> but if you thought it was a waste of time, remember that you actually learn a lot more than you realize. You learn to be patient, to be tolerant, to understand the different people that walked onto that stage. And trust me, you can learn a lot from people, but you can also learn a lot from yourselves, from our strengths and our weaknesses. That can come in many forms, trust me. But one of those forms is Saturday tests, right? We hate getting up on Saturday mornings. But without doing those tests, without failing those tests, 